Going at it, Purdue and Xavier. First half, Xavier running. James Posey comes up with a loose ball and takes it all the way. One on three, but he gets it to go. He had eight. Xavier by four early, and Gene Katie was appalled. Still first half. <laughs> Purdue down by 11 at one point. Back they come, Jerron Cornell. He was four of nine behind the arc. Couple threes there, and even Gene able to force a rare smile. Purdue ends the half at a 22-5 run. They're up 35-29. Second half, more of the same. It's Cornell. Another three ball finish with a game high 21. That put the Boilers up by eight. And they pull. Now, after 11 turnovers Saturday against Purdue and continued problems with his shot, let's talk to senior Gary Lumpkin's string of 90 straight starts might come to an end at Xavier. Lumpkin had his troubles hanging onto the ball, and he's in a deep shooting slump. 35% from the floor, 19% from behind the arc. But heading into tomorrow night's game with Toledo, Lumpkin maintains his confidence. <laughs> I mean, I'm a senior. I mean, I've been starting for four years now. And there's going to be, I mean, there's anything or anybody that can, uh, you know, lower my confidence level right now. You know, I, um, I realize I'm not shooting it well and I'm not playing all that well, but I'm going to turn it on. And, um, you know, good players do that. Forget everyone. This is not how Xavier Faithful saw this season unfolding. A team that's prided itself on a stumble here and there, but rarely lost two in a row, has now lost twice, twice already. And tonight's 74-67 loss at Toledo leaves them with a meager 5-4 and four record. Though both teams should be well rested with all the time they spent watching 80 free throws. That's quality viewing, I'm sure you'd agree. Four Musketeers fouled out, including both starting guards, Lenny Brown and Gary Lumpkin. Greg Stempen was a major source of a lot of those whistles, the 6'8 sophomore. As graceful as a safe falling down steps, but just as tough to stop. 23 points for him, seven rebounds while playing all but two minutes. Robert Kaiser got the rebounds he didn't on the defensive end, and there were a lot of them as Xavier shot a pitiful 22% for the first half. He had 12 for the game to go with 10 points. Lloyd Price, he is going to be fun to watch when he gets some company. He had 18 points, 7 of 13 from the floor, but fellow forward Kevin Fry went 0 for no points, 2 rebounds before fouling out. James Posey with 15 points equaled his point output, but that was all 3 for 11 on the night. With Art Norman hitting 17 in the second half, they open up a one-point halftime lead while Xavier shot 37% for the game. It's a seven-point loss. They are home to Canisius on Saturday. Elsewhere on the college big board tonight, it is Massachusetts. We're disappointed right now, um, you know, but you know, we still have a lot of work to do. And uh, like right now, it's a great opportunity for us to get better. If there's one thing that really ticks off a Xavier fan, it's when the school is mispronounced Egg Xavier. Tonight's opponent has a similar pet peeve when the school Canisius is pronounced Canisius. X marked the spot on the lids of these young musky fans. Canisius third in the nation in three-point shooting coming in. But that air ball was typical tonight and led to the fast break floater by Lenny Brown. Brown led the Musketeers with 21 points. X had a new starter at center, Obi Harris who finished with eight points and three boards. And the Musketeers got some offense out of their big guys overall tonight. Desmond Walker inside for the easy deuce. Then a little bit later, it's Kevin Fry with the jam. Xavier snaps a two-game losing streak with a 30-point win. Anytime you get a win, you know, that's, that's what we set out to do is get a win. You know, it feels real good um, to bounce back. We start our conference play in a little bit, so we have to get on a on a winning streak, and it started today. We can't get a winning streak without a first win, so we got it. And X is right back in action on Monday night at home against Loyola Marymount. 